Homeless man asks Burger King worker, what can I get for 50 cents? A circumflex euro, the boy's response. Viral stories presents, the homeless man asks a Burger King worker what he can get for 50 cents and the worker's response was amazing. Homelessness is a serious problem and a sad reality in today's society. When you're approached by a homeless person asking for help, you have one of two options. First, you can spare a dollar or two to help the person out or you can try to ignore the person and just walk away. The people who choose to ignore, the homeless person asking for help often do so because they're worried if the person will spend the money on drugs or alcohol. Most people are not willing to trust that a homeless person just wants to buy food. Matthew Resendez a Burger King worker, he was put in that position one day when a homeless man asked him what he could get for 50 cents. You won't believe the boy's response. We'll tell you what it is in just a moment first, help us spread the word about viral videos by clicking that like button and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Matthew was on his shift at Burger King one evening when a homeless man walked in and because of the part of town that Matthew works in it wasn't really all that uncommon for him to wait on the homeless on this particular evening. The scruffy man walked up to Matthew and asked him what he could get for 50 cents. With a man asking the question, Matthew could have told him the truth. Nothing, there's nothing on the menu that costs so little as 50 cents but Matthew didn't do that instead. He let the man keep his 50 cents and he rang up the most expensive meal they had on the menu. Next, he took out his wallet and paid for it himself. The homeless man was thrilled by the generosity of a boy he had never even met before. The man wasn't the only person in Burger King that evening that was touched by Matthew's kind gesture what the people dining in the restaurant saw what Matthew did. The land over to him and gave him a $100 bill. The diner was so impressed by Matthew's kind gesture that they wanted to reward him. The diner also wrote a letter to Burger King to let them know what a caring employee they had working for them. When Matthew got home that night, he told his mother Michelle about what had happened. She knew her son was a good kid but she never expected him to do something so kind. After he went to bed that night, she logged on to Facebook to tell the story. Michelle told the entire story in her post and she took a picture of Matthew still in his Burger King uniform holding the $100 bill that the diner gave to him. Michelle was so proud of her son and she wanted the world to know. Well shortly after she created the post, it went viral. The post was shared over 40,000 times and liked over 143,000 times and the post received numerous comments. A lot of the people who did comment, they congratulated Michelle for raising such a good boy. Many praised Matthew for his generosity and kindness, one user on Facebook mentioned that considering the low wages a Burger King employee was probably getting, what Matthew did was even more amazing in today's world. It's easy to look around and see negativity. Bad things do happen everywhere, it's really hard not to notice them but when you hear a story like Matthew's, it gives you a hope that there are good people in this world and that people are doing good things whether you see them or not. The homeless man's meal that evening probably caused Matthew about $7 but for that man, that was worth everything. Not only did he get a chance to enjoy a good filling meal, but there's also given a chance to see that there are good people in the world who are willing to help those in need. In fact, it gave both of them an opportunity to show everyone around them what true kindness really is. The fact that Matthew is just a teenage boy, it makes the story even better. Matthew shows there's hope for our future generation and thank goodness for that. If people were willing to do one good deed for a person in need, each week there might not be so much suffering in this world. Matthew says he didn't help the man that evening because he expected a reward or any type of praise. He says, he did it because he had the ability to help and it was the right thing to do. We should all take a page out of Matthew's book, if we did, the world would be a better place. Want to start next time you go through a drive through be it for fast food or coffee or whatever, just tell the person in the window that you want to pay for the person behind you. Trust me, it makes a world of difference both for them and you and for the person work in the window. Subscribe for more.